pillow from the top of my suitcase um, I just got my iHerb delivery and I wanted to show you guys uh, what I got um, this is only my second I, know, I haven't even opened it but this is uh, only my second iHerb delivery in Japan so far it seems to be cheaper than buying on Amazon like some products you can find on Amazon for sure and I think like there are some stores here in Japan where you can find like these kinds of imported products like I buy I mainly buy on iHerb like really specific things that I need in my diet that are hard to find like in Japanese supermarkets there are stores that sell it I think there's like um like a European there's I've already noticed a European brand health store in Omote Sando called Bio uh, We have the same in Belgium, but I mean, it's already expensive in Belgium, that shop. So I'm guessing that since those are like imported products, it will be even more expensive. I haven't compared that one, but I have compared with Amazon and iHerb seems to be the cheaper route. So uh, yeah, I think I remember most of what I got. I was very careful. Because it's so easy to want to buy like all these things that look good and healthy and then you like go to checkout and you cannot avoid it. So hopefully these are products that will work well. I tried some different things this time. Hopefully they are good. Come on. There we go. Ooh, well that's a big ass thing. Did I order more than this? Okay, the one thing that I freaking hate are these air pockets. Like, I have to pop them all individually. Or am I the only one who pops them so that they don't take up all the room? Okay, I'll do this later, but this is like proof of what I have to do with these deliveries. These are so stupid. Anyway, okay, let's put this aside for now there are so many why? maybe I can pop them like this I can't <laughs> I cannot anyway uh, this is the um, almond butter that I'm currently going with uh, because it has um, this one is the bare smooth one so it has like nothing added in there like no sugar or salt it says it's made in a peanut fee free facility I'm kind of allergic to peanuts I used to be but I feel like I've accidentally ingested a peanut here or there and all I get like is a very tingly lip or tongue but nothing bad after that if I drink a bunch of water but I do appreciate that it's made in a peanut free facility so this is a de decently priced one. There's a good brand here in Tokyo made by uh, the Tokyo Juice uh, Company in Omote Sando. They have a really good uh, almond butter recipe there. You can buy it on Amazon, but it's more expensive, I feel like. Um, but I do want to support their business, so from time to time I buy from them. But this time since I was ordering from iHerb, this is the one I'm currently using, the Barney Butter Almond Butter and I use this for my protein in the morning, it goes in my oatmeal usually I'm still holding a bunch of these <laughs> Okay, this one is the first one I'm using, this I wanted to buy some flaxseed and some uh, chia seeds uh, but it turns out they have like this all-in-one thing, it's like um, flax chia and coconut organic omega-3 protein good source of fiber and this is also for my breakfast like yeah shredded coconut yeah it's like basically a superfood so I hope this is good but I'm pretty sure and this was like not expensive at all for what it is but I'm not sure how it, how long it's gonna last me so far I've been using chia and flaxseed from that um, supermarket in Omote Sando that I mentioned earlier like they have like this like distributors type thing that you just can fill up as much as you want but again it's far away and I was out so God, I can never open these properly can I for some reason I can never tear 
these things like a freaking adult. Okay, let's see. Okay, this smells so good. It just looks like a, a powder. So maybe everything is ground. It just says blend. Sprinkle into oatmeal smoothie juice salads. You're going to add flavor and texture or enjoy straight from the bag. To ensure freshness, refrigerate after opening. That's good to know because I would have not done that. <laughs> it tastes pretty good. Um, usually flaxseed has a really strong smell and flavor, but it seems to be covered by the, the coconut. So really looking forward to trying this one. Next is this big boy. I did not expect this to be this uh, huge. Uh, this is nutri nutritional yeast flakes. So obviously more... This is protein, right? Pretty sure this is protein. Yep. I thought it had more of a cheesy smell, but I used to have this all the time instead of cheese, like on pasta and stuff. So. I feel like I can add these to my very plain lunches that I'm having at the moment and it will be all bueno. I forget what it is, but there's like, oh, B12. So that's hard to get for someone who doesn't eat many like um, animal products. So B12, a little bit of iron. Mm, things that I don't know, basically, but I think they're all good <laughs> but yeah b12 i remember now it was mainly for the b12 that i used to take this and last but not least oh this is a small boy that's fine uh, it's better i'm gonna try the quinoa again <laughs> for those who have been following me for a long time now you'll know that i used to eat quinoa every single day until i got insanely tired of it and i couldn't even smell it uh, this is gluten free. Uh, I think quinoa has like is a is a protein in itself. Oh, this is pre rinse. That's good. Fiber. I wonder. Like this is the thing. Oh yeah, it does have protein. Um, no trans fat. Good potassium. Anyway, I wonder if I can cook this in my rice cooker. That's gonna be my mission. It would be so useful if I can just shove this in the rice cooker and have it. Um, yeah, have it cook by itself but yeah, I remember that it was kind of a uh, hit or miss with me when I was trying to cook it sometimes I put too much water, sometimes too little and it burnt the bottom and stuff so I think it'll be a mission I'm gonna try this again because I'm getting tired of having rice every day or every single meal except breakfast so this is what I've got, only these four things I also wanted some protein bars but my budget was kind of like mm. but I usually want to snack during the day so it's like yeah, I still have to figure that one out. Now, I'm gonna have fun and uh, ah, flip everywhere. Pop these! <laughs> also, if my eye makeup is weird, anyway, there's a lot top lighting that doesn't help, but if my eye makeup is weird, it's because I wanted to try something different and instead of doing like the upwards flick, I just did it downwards because my eyes naturally are like a little downward like slanted downwards but i don't think it suits me i think it makes me look a little sad where or maybe i'm just too used to having my flicks upwards that give me like this more smiley face i don't know anyway i'm rambling on uh yeah i heard in japan it i think i recommend it but only got it twice so i still have some experimenting to do i'm gonna put all of this away and pop a ton of uh Plastic! Oh, wait, maybe I can... No, that doesn't work. I thought I could tear it out. Oh, it does work, but I think stabbing them with scissors will be more efficient. Okay, here I go. <laughs> okay, today's the day. I'm trying to cook quinoa in my rice cooker. I don't think it needs 40 minutes, I think. 30 minutes might be okay. I'm not sure about the quantity of water I put, but I will check. So, bye bye for now. Please be edible. At least be edible. Good news is that it looks cooked. It looks edible. The bad news is that 
I'm not convinced with the smell. It's making me go a little bit like bleh from, you know, like having it so many times in the past, like every day for every meal. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make this a little more appetizing with some sauce and stuff and then I will have lunch. Updated version. It's not bad, but I used one of these packet sauces I found at the supermarket and it's so salty! Ah! I'm gonna have to drink a liter of water after this but all in all the flavor is pretty good I wanted some like pesto type sauce I haven't really been able to find a good one except like in restaurants so it's good but it's too salty I also like treated myself to some grated cheese like uh, I have an issue with cheese here like it doesn't taste like real cheese but I treated myself to a small packet of grated cheese added some nutritional yeast flakes and um you know what all in all it's okay just extra salty so maybe I should add some extra quinoa there's also an egg in there and some spinach so it's sort of healthy uh, it probably doesn't have like that much healthy fat. You can hear my mom saying that to me, but I do take like fish oil tablets uh, at lunchtime, so that will that will do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I have to get ready for school. Try and get rid of these babies. Look a little bit more presentable. Anyway, itadakimasu. I'm gonna watch some anime or something while eating lunch. Hi everyone! Um, as usual, I'm in a hurry. I have to go. I actually woke up on time and then I, I, I don't know how I felt back asleep but I woke up, it was like 8am and I have to be somewhere at 10am and I still have to wash my hair and get everything done. So anyway, I'm in a rush. I need to leave like in the next 10 minutes I think. But I wanted to introduce, like, open up this vlog and introduce what we're gonna do because as usual when I'm with friends, I usually don't really speak directly to camera. I just film little things and here and there. So today for the first time, I'm going to the beach. I think we're going to Atami Beach, which means that we have to take the Shinkansen some money. Ah, but for the experience, I'm super happy. It looks like finally... Finally, it's a beautiful day because it's been we've been trying to go to the beach like practically for most of August like I think this is like uh, It's Saturday. I think we saw a few days in August, but like basically the end of the month. So We're finally going to the beach. I'm so happy uh, We did go to um, Kabakura and Onoshima like in the first few like in the first month i came to japan but i didn't vlog that because there were like new friends but um oh my god i'm so excited i'm so happy uh i bought myself a bathing suit like a kind of last minute it isn't like the best fit but it's it will have to do i have to, have to buy it off amazon because shopping for tall people is a whole thing but it will have to do the job i don't know if we're gonna go swimming or anything but like better be prepared i'm gonna take my big ass backpack with me and uh yeah i'm super excited the only thing is that i have a really big test on monday so i'm bringing some stuff to study as well if i have time maybe on the train maybe on the shinkansen i don't know but i'm super excited and i've been feeling like so much better like i still had a lot of nausea last night uh that which woke me up from the the ssris that i'm having to take from my anxiety and everything going on in my brain and the pmdd and everything but i'm starting to really get over that like um uh, hump of the initial side effects so i'm feeling thankfully much better i'm getting my energy back i'm able to sleep again uh that combined with the yoga which i find that if i do it like almost right before sleeping really helps me sleep so um, I know I'm like spewing all of this like all this information to you at once but I like to document things that's kind of what I've decided what these vlogs are going to be because I've been trying like to like be like really artsy and creative and make them interesting but it just gets in my head and it doesn't feel natural to me anymore so I'm just going to document my time here in Japan so um, that's why I'm giving you all this information like for my friends, for my family, for you guys who are watching whoever you may be, wherever you may be in the world um, this is what's been happening so yeah, I'm gonna 
grab whatever I need to do and then I'm gonna head there. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 